Oh, there you are, YouTube. So we just had a massive storm hit through. I'm not sure how big it was, but I'm in the central Illinois area and it came through and did a lot of damage. I've been hearing about a lot of damage. So what I need to do is I had to go to the family farm to check on that to see what sort of damage happened on the property. And on my way, uh, I saw something very unique. So I'll show you that first before we get to the farm. So take a look at that. So as I was heading to the farm, I noticed this Jurassic experience that's here visiting all of these dinosaurs here. I don't even know if you can tell these were dinosaurs. They've all blown over because of the storm. Also, right there, see that tree is down. There's all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, but yeah, th this th we have a new extinction of the dinosaurs over here. So let me take some, and the fence, this is what was holding them in. And now they're just prepared to escape, but it looks like the storm took care of them. Here's, here's another angle. All these dinosaurs fell over during the storm, probably damaged. I just saw some lightning in the distance. Looks like T-Rex is still doing fine. A couple of them over there. This uh, Stegosaurus has seen some better days. I believe I see a Dilophosaurus over here, still standing, looking pretty calm. But yeah, look at that, all these dinosaurs. I don't wanna pass this, I don't think I'm allowed to do that. What, this one's doing some sort of balancing act. What's going on there? Dead dinosaurs everywhere. Got a, a Parasaurolophus right over there that's still alive. My goodness, oh, an egg. These eggs cracked open and these dinosaurs are crawling out of it. Baby dinosaurs crawling out of these cracked eggs. Those were probably fully intact before the storm. I'm sure the storm knocked them over, cracked them open, and now the dinosaurs are crawling out. My favorite dinosaur, the Brachiosaurus right there. It has been knocked over. This is just very sad to see. And it looks like the T-Rex and what we've learned is the T-Rex was actually a scavenger. Looks like it's heading this way to feast on the corpse of this brontosaurus. Oh my goodness. Now that I'm closer, it looks like the T-Rex has had some wind damage. The wind fully blew off the side of his skin, exposing the bone and organs. Looks like this cute little fellow right here ended up okay. He's been pinned against the side of the fencing that stayed up. This guy right here looks to be okay as well. Probably that plating, the armor on his back kept him okay. And then there's that Parasaurolophus right there. Looks to be okay as well. Oh, just animal parts everywhere, just littered. Really is sad to see. Okay, so yeah, that was incredible seeing all those dinosaurs. It was like a second in ex extinction, a second extinction. Um, so yeah, you know, Jurassic Park, it was, we, had, we had the gates down, we had the fences down, uh, dinosaurs roaming everywhere. I, fe I feel like we are just lucky that so many of them perished or else that, I mean, we're, we're looking at like, we're, we're looking at Jurassic World, right? Anyway, so uh, I'm here at the farm. Let's see what sort of damage we got. It doesn't, at first glance, it doesn't look so bad. Although I see my trash can is all the way over there. Okay, I'll be right back. Now that I'm outside, I can see some damage. Nothing major so far that I can tell, but let's, let's take a look. So here we have a, a big uh, walnut tree and it's, you know, pre-Civil War, just like the house and uh, we got tiny little branches here, nothing big. Uh, our willow trees though, I can see the willow trees look a little different. I think maybe we have some snapped branches. Actually, maybe that doesn't look as bad as I thought. Okay, I mean, this one's kind of snapped right there. This tree hasn't been doing so well. There's that trash can. That belongs by the house, which is very far behind me. Um, Okay, some branches there. Sorry for the wind. Branches on the ground. This is an old one from a different storm. That's a new snap. That's a new snap. But yeah, I guess otherwise, not too bad. 
That's new, but that looks like it was old and finally just fell. Nothing fresh, really, except for the snapping there and again, the snapping there. Let's take a look at the fruit trees on the other side of the house. Not seeing anything, nothing. Pear tree looks fine. These are all the fruit trees over here. That all looks good. So, oh, tiny little thing there. Branch there, branch there, branch there. So nothing too terrible this time. So I think we got pretty lucky. This right here came off of this big tree. Um, burn pile is where I will be putting all of these. Crib still standing. Hog barn still standing. Chicken coop still standing. Garage. I think we're doing okay. Not too bad. I, this branch here, same. Came from this one over there. Back over to the willow side of the farm. I didn't catch this because it blended in, but this is our corn right here. And we have some branches from the walnut tree right there, black walnut, that flew into the corn and knocked down some of the crop. And you can see we have uh, black walnuts. You can sort of see them throughout the yard there. But yeah, this spot right here and this right here all fell into our corn. And our corn, basically a little, little shorter than me right now to give you some idea of how big that branch is. But didn't do any major damage. It doesn't look like there's any big pieces, which we've had in the past. Some big pieces fall in. Actually, here we go. This didn't get too deep in, but I'm noticing this tree on the edge, which is sort of falling apart anyway. Willows need a lot of water and they're not getting a lot of water here. So it's kind of brittle. But you can see um, right there is the snapping point and then it goes down into the crop right there. There's another view right there where you can see. And the snapping point was right there. So that's a fresh snap right there. That's not from an old storm, that's from this storm. Looks like uh, the kids could build like a little clubhouse right there. Back to the branches that fell. So there's the damage right there. I pulled the branches out. There you can see where the corn's down. Did the same thing with this branch, pulled it out. And it didn't get as deep. Just have a few stalks down there. Here closer to the railroad, this sort of area there, we have a branch that went in. We don't really mow this part over here, but I think it's the railroads. I think they own it. Uh, but yeah, one of the branches from the willows flew right there. So the trash can that was by the willows over that way, uh, the, the lid is no longer attached to it. So that has completely ripped off. You can see the cracks there. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe it's out there somewhere. Long gone. Another wild thing about this storm is it like produced some like Independence Day style like like clouds. You know, like when the mothership or the alien ship is 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 coming in, it like looked like that with the clouds. Really cool. I'll try and get some images put in, but it was it was wild. Also, I wanted to mention the swing set right here at my in-laws uh, over the Father's Day weekend. I was helping my father-in-law build it. And it took a few days to build, and this morning uh, the kids were visiting and had a nice fun morning of playing on that swing set for the very first time. And then by noon, that's when the storm sort of hit and basically destroyed it. It knocked it over. I think it's still salvageable. There are some pieces we'll have to replace, like the, the straight slide. We'll have to, to replace that because it snapped in some areas, but I can't believe they didn't even get a full day of play before it was destroyed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog. Not too much damage, thankfully. Um, just, you know, some branches down, but I think all these trees 
well, mostly survive. I mean, the willows, they've been on their way out for a few years now. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody who was dealing with this storm was able to stay as safe as they could. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. And perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pier Hangout.